Hello, everyone. This is Jim Laird here from Largo, Florida with Dr. Leland Stillman. About six months ago, we did a thyroid course that was highly successful. We actually had about 60 people in it. And it was really amazing to see some of the things that we actually observed in this course. One, most of the people in the course didn't have a thyroid issue. OK, they, they either weren't eating enough protein. They weren't getting outside. They had stress issues. They had mineral deficiencies. They had protein deficiencies. And most of them went to their doctor saying they were tired and the doctor just threw thyroid meds at them instead of actually making some lifestyle changes. So we're getting we're excited because we're opening this course up again. We had so many great testimonials. So many people really enjoyed the course. We normally don't do this, but we actually are going to have the link to buy the course early. We usually don't release it to the end of the month. But we're actually going to open it up early. There's only 30 spots available and there's a medical offer if you sign up for the for the coaching part of the program. And today we wanted to share with you the top takeaways from that course so that you can understand what may be going on with your life, your health, your wellness, your metabolism that may have nothing to do with your thyroid. Because, you know, we basically what we did is we took 60 people. We did a very comprehensive set of lab tests on them, including a hair tissue mineral analysis. And then what I call my comprehensive wellness panel, which is way more blood work than you're going to get from almost any other doctor. So we had an incredible level of resolution into what was going on within these people. And we saw a lot of different patterns that we want to share with you today. So number one, a lot of these people, the vast majority, I would say 90% were not getting enough light during the day. And many people coming to us, particularly who haven't heard of us or haven't you know listened to some of our material in the past, they don't realize that light drives all metabolism. And this is not an exception for the thyroid gland. So light actually is what times your circadian rhythms. Thyroid hormone is a circadian hormone. Thyroid hormone responds to light. And so you'll see that the people who have the most time outside, they feel better. They have more energy, no matter what their thyroid hormone levels are. The second thing we saw was people tended to not eat enough protein. And this is really, really important for those of you with thyroid problems for a couple of reasons. And for all of you who want to be healthy and well. So number one, protein is the precursor for many of your, neuro, your neurotransmitters. In fact, I think all of them, arguably, there's some exceptions to that, as well as thyroid hormone. So what happens when you don't eat enough protein? Your body's going to downregulate thyroid hormone. And it's also not going to make as much of a very important peptide called glutathione. Glutathione triggers and is responsible for detoxification of your cells. If you've heard a lot about thyroid and thyroid health in the health and wellness info space, you know and have heard that toxins affect the thyroid gland very powerfully. So not having enough glutathione around is a recipe for low thyroid function. And what do many of the thyroid health gurus recommend to you? They recommend glutathione supplements or precursors to them. Now, those have a value, but I ask you, does it make more sense to eat more protein to get your glutathione or should you be taking a glutathione supplement? The other thing about protein, right, is it's not just about the glutathione, it's about these neurotransmitters and it's about thyroid hormone itself. So we saw a lot of people improving without any supplements just by increasing the amount of protein that they were eating. And, you know, Jim's seen that over and over again in his career as a strength coach. It's a big part of why we strongly recommend people who come in to coach with us to eat more protein almost invariably. We've had very few cases in the last year where that wasn't part of the solution, right, Jim? That is correct. I very rarely, unless I'm working with a bodybuilder, very rarely have I seen someone overeat, overeat protein. Right. Another pattern we saw was that people were not getting enough uh, high quality water. And so they would end up with dehydration. Many of them were relying on things like energy drinks, juices, sodas, teas. A lot of thyroid patients don't realize, and people in general, that a lot of these drinks are actually loaded with fluoride. Uh, even many bottled waters I'm concerned are contaminated with fluoride and fluoride is very important to get out of your water and your drinks because fluoride will bind magnesium. It will bind other positively charged minerals and drag them out of the body. You need those minerals to make thyroid hormone. And this actually goes back to another, uh, another element of the, the protein question, which is that proteins loaded with zinc, the vast, vast majority of the people in this program had a low zinc, high copper level. And when that copper level gets high and the zinc level gets low, what you'll see is that people don't feel well. They don't have energy. Uh, they often have GI issues. They often end up with heavy metal or toxin accumulation because of the lack of zinc. And increasing their red meat intake in particular really helps them with their zinc load. 
So back to the water, you need water because it's got critical minerals like magnesium. You've got, particularly if it's spring water. And if it's not spring water, we recommend reverse osmosis filtered water that's had some magnesium drops added back to it, which we explain more in the course and the coaching that goes with it. So dehydration, lack of the proper hydration, fluoride contaminating things. Another big one is actually tea. Many people don't realize that tea is loaded with fluoride and so are some dairy products. So are some wines. A lot of these things are derailing people's thyroid health and the, and fluoride. If there's one thing that poisons the thyroid gland in the periodic table of elements, I think fluoride might be it, which is why we make, make such an emphasis on water and hydration and, and good, healthy things uh, to drink. And then uh, number four was getting the lights off at night. Very few people today really understand how to fix their light environment. You're going to hear things about sleep. You're going to hear things about blue light at night. And a lot of people, even though they've heard these things, they don't actually know what to do about them. So we found a lot of people in the course were not wearing blue blockers, which are critical for optimizing sleep quality and the depth of sleep and the phases of sleep and all these other things. Many of them had problems with sleep that we helped them understand how to deal with either with breathing drills or with changes to their daily routine or with sometimes supplements or over the counter sleep aids. And we were able to get some really profound results for improving people's sleep over the course of the program. But a big part of that, in addition to the things I've already talked about, was their use of blue blockers and their use of blue light blocking technology in, in screens in order to reduce their blue light exposure after dark. Um, and, you know, Jim, I mean, we talk about this all the time, but it makes such a big difference in people's energy levels. Absolutely. And then also another thing is the appropriate amount of exercise. You yes. know, a lot of people that get caught in this thyroid thing are just not doing the right type of exercise for what they actually need. Absolutely. And the neat thing about it is we go into exercise in the thyroid course. But if, if you sign up for the course with coaching, you actually get the fundamentals of wellness as well, where we go through all the fundamental habits. And then there's right. also a strength and conditioning component that I'm continuously updating mm -hmm. for, for your continuing education. There's circuits and things like that in there. But, you know, here's the thing. A lot of you might even know these things, but are you actually applying them? And do you know how to apply them? And do you know what you're missing? A lot of people might be doing all the things, but stress is a huge, you know, role uh, part for them. Their breathing mechanics, they yeah. have a hard time relaxing. That might be the right. big thing. And most people, from my experience, the reason I've made a career out of this is because most people will not change on a dime. They need cons constant encouragement. They've built a life that's pulling them away from these habits, and they need some help getting them going in the right direction, and they need accountability because most people will not do this stuff on their own. Even myself, I, I have to have you know people hold me accountable to certain things. Um, and it, it, it's in our modern day world, it's so easy to get caught up in our modern day world, rush, rush, rush. It's easy to overlook and cut corners on these real simple things. And it's our job to help guide you and provide support to build those bad habits. So you do them automatically. But, you know, I have athletes that I've worked with for years that call me because they, they basically get themselves in trouble. And my conversation is, okay, are you doing this? No, I've kind of slacked on that. Are you doing that? Are you getting your sleep? No, I've been going out a little too much. Maybe I started drinking. Well, you, you need to make some changes there. So everybody needs professional athletes get constant coaching because it's human nature to cut corners, right? It doesn't yeah. mean you have to be perfect, but we have to get you to do the things that are going to put you in a place where you feel good and, and look good and, and perform at the level that you need to perform at. And one of the trends that we see in the people who work with us, if you're new to Jim and I, you're just clicked on this and you're, you've never heard us speak before. We tend to attract some of the most savvy, educated people in this space, people who've done multiple certification courses, have degrees. We had more than one healthcare practitioner, including a medical doctor in the thyroid course. And they had just rave reviews and wonderful things to say about the course. And all of them came back with one thing in common at least. And that was, you taught me things that I didn't know before. But beyond that, to go on what Jim was saying about accountability is that so many people know this, the strategy, but they don't know the tactics. And Sun Tzu in The Art of War, he said, um, strategy without tactics is the slowest road to victory and tactics without strategy is the, is the noise before defeat. You need both strategy and tactics to really get exceptional results, which is what Jim and I are really all about. It's another part of why we don't really 
I mean, we, you can buy just courses from us, mm -hmm. but the reality is coaching is where the real magic happens. It's where we really help people move the needle. Because as I was saying, you know, so many people who would go through the course would say, well, yeah, I knew the stuff you were talking about breath work and autonomics. And I knew the stuff that you were talking about weight loss and calorie restriction. But we would say, but, but what are you doing? How are you doing it? And then we would help them tweak their approach so they could get the results that they wanted. And the well, strength part of that is so important, which no one else I see in this space really incorporates well. In well, and most people are not self-aware enough to be aware of what they actually need. Like I know I'm a type A, right. like in certain things, stress monster. I know if you give me an ax, I'll cut down every tree in the forest. And this is there why are, Jim and I, we have people we work with on our health. Yep. Well, and, and most of the people that come to us are high achievers. We get a few people that have just let themselves completely go, but most of the people we are highly successful entrepreneurs. They just, they lost self-awareness. They, they don't have a good, you know, everything is I've got to do more work. I've got to do more work to get this result. And a lot of times it's a matter of just, I need another biohack, yeah. another sauna session, another massage, another this, another that. A lot of the time what we do is we actually simplify your life to save you time, save you money and help you work smarter, not harder. That is correct. Yeah. Well, thanks for tuning in today. There'll be a couple links um, below or in the emails that you're getting. We're actually going to release this early. There'll be the early bird. You'll get a special on that. And then if you if you still want more information, we're going to do a webinar at the end of the month. If who knows, we might have sold out of it by the end of the month. So it's possible. I mean, for the record, you know, we we launched the HTMA course last last month, mm -hmm. and it was, I mean, just within a hair of selling out, even before we did the webinar. Yeah, you only had like five spots left before the webinar. And we so. didn't even promote it that much. And by right. the way, if you, you know, if you have any reservations or doubts about this, you're not interested or you're thinking, I don't know about this, look, go to the page below, look at and watch the testimonials. Like I said before, I've never had happier patients, happier coaching clients than we've had in the thyroid coaching course. You owe it to yourself to at least watch those testimonials and think about whether or not this is the right opportunity for you. All right. Thanks everyone for tuning in. Hope to see you inside the course. Take care, everyone. Have a great day.